In this video, we're going to have a look at some of the new features and improvements in Write Suite Universal's version 2015. Uh, the first thing we're going to have a look at is a, a simple drawing improvement that we've made uh, with our glass doors. Um, in the past, uh, selecting a uh, glass door required you to draw a window, which is still true, um, and changing that window to one of the sliding glass door building materials um, would change that window into a uh, door icon. Uh, however, that door icon was always a swinging door, uh, which required you to change it to a sliding glass door or a double door in the case of a French door. Um, what we've done is added some logic to the program that automatically makes that change for you. If I select this window here and change the building material from an operable window to a sliding glass door, uh, when I hit OK, the program automatically selects a sliding door icon for me. If I change that window into a French door, the program automatically provides a double door. Um, this isn't the only improvement we've made to our, our drawing tool, uh, but a lot of the new improvements we've made to write draw uh, overlap with our duck feature. Uh, so let's have a look at our duck screen. Uh, the first feature we're going to have a look at is WriteSoft's ability to auto size uh, a register. Simply check the box for auto sizing registers, set your most common grill size, the program will use the smaller of the two rectangular dimensions to size off of. Uh, for instance, uh, if most of my grills will be 10 by 6 and I have uh, a, a register with larger amount of airflow, uh, it will give me a 12 by 6. Um, if I set it for a 10 by 4, then it might give me um, an 8 by 4 if I need less CFM. Um, leaving it at square dimensions uh, on the return side is simply going to change the square dimensions of the grill to achieve a certain target face velocity. Um, given a certain amount of free grill area. Um, these are user enter fields. Um, if I want to achieve a, a 400 foot per minute velocity, this is in FPM, um, I would set that there. Um, and when the free area of the uh, grill is known, uh, I, I plug that in there. So if I want a lower velocity on my returns to keep them quiet, um, I can plug that number in there. And depending on what type of grill I'm using and its restriction in uh, free grill area, um, I can change that percentage. And if I come back to the drawing screen, having turned that feature on and set my parameters, when I turn on the duct layer, I can see that these grills are automatically sizing to my uh, CFM needs. Now I can still change these sizes manually as I always could. I simply have to go back to the duct preferences page and turn off the automatic sizing register feature. Uh, RiceHop's also added a new duct feature that looks for incongruent sizes in your duct design. Simply put, if one of your branch runs is larger or taller than your trunk, uh, we will give a, a, a warning icon. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. Uh, I have a 8 by 10 inch, so let's see, this is a 10 inch high trunk. Now as silly as this would be for me to use a 12 inch tall branch run, when I do so, you can see, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better, you can see that the takeoff changes color. Right, when that takeoff changes color, it's alerting me to the fact that these two ducts won't connect very well. They don't make any physical sense, um, and uh, I may have a problem there. So I should examine the situation. Um, now this feature can be turned off by simply um, right-clicking on the drawing screen itself and changing or fitting with non-congruent uh, sizes uh, color to match that of the regular color. Um, the last feature we're going to have a look at is uh, probably going to be one of our most popular, especially for those of our customers who are involved with new construction. It's a tool designed to help you do ventilation calculations and comply with the ASHRAE 62. Now, as has always been the case, our zone information page is where our ventilation settings are located. So if I go to the show menu and go to uh, zone information, uh, about halfway down the page is where I'm going to see my uh, ventilation section. Um, although this is going to tie in with system characteristics as well, um, as that's where I choose what type of ventilation there's going to be. So if I choose uh, as my central vent type, let's say I'm going to use uh, an HRV. So I select my HRV and I set the sensible effectiveness, of course. Um, this is not a default value in the sense that um, we're recommending you set it for 50. This is going to depend on the unit and um, I'm going to look that up from the technical data. Um, but when I click OK there, uh, the program populates uh, a ventilation number. Now, this ventilation number um, is by default and has been in the past based on the Manual J's recommendation for ventilation. 
Um, the Manual J's recommendation uh, for ventilation is just that. It's a recommendation, it's not a requirement. Um, whereas in many situations, ASHRAE 62 is required by local code. Now prior to this, uh, you could use external tools to determine what your ASHRAE 62 ventilation was and override the fields here in Wrightsoft. But what we're allowing you to do now is turn on the ASHRAE 62.2 method of calculating ventilation. By simply checking that box there, the program automatically recalculates the fresh air needs of the home based on the current ASHRAE 62.2 standard. If I click on the button here with three dots, I can check our math. We can see how it came up with that value. Now something some might be interested in is whether or not our ASHRAE 62 calculation takes into account um, an infiltration credit. And the answer is yes, but in order to use the infiltration credit, you have to be performing a blower door test. So in order for our software to uh, implement any infiltration credits, you have to switch your infiltration method to blower door and enter blower door data rather than uh, simplified or detailed manual J infiltration. Um, so if I go to the and currently I have a 59 CFM uh, requirement based on ASHRAE 62.2. Um, if I go to my infiltration page, I'm going to show right J in infiltration. Changing the tightness of the building, this isn't going to do anything because you don't get an infiltration credit if you're not doing blower door. So I'm going to have to go to the options menu, infiltration method, and switch to a blower door method. But if I do, I can do a single point test here at 50 pascals enter my CFM of leakage and the program will calculate uh, a natural air change rate based on that data. It will also give me credit for that infiltration in the ASHRAE 62.2 calculations. Now instead of needing 59 CFM of outside air, I only need 20 CFM of outside air because having switched to a blower door calculation, Riceoft is now able to use the infiltration credits to calculate my ASHRAE 62 variables. That concludes this tutorial on Wright Suite Universal's version 15 improvements. Be on the lookout for more improvements in days to come and we'll have more videos out for you then uh, showing you how they work. Uh, thank you very much for your time and have a good day.